was about a deposit that was paid um, to a, a bike shop. Um, a friend lent me 500 quid to put down a deposit on the bike. I went into the shop, looked, um, and there were no, the, the bike I, uh, that I was going to order wasn't there. They just said the name of the bike. Then I looked around at accessories, didn't have any money on me. So I went back home and my friend had transferred the money into my account. So I rang up the shop and paid it. I didn't have a total of what I was buying, the accessories or the proposed bike. I just paid 500 quid deposit. Then um, two hours later, I got an email to discover that my finances had completely changed. I wasn't going to be able to, to go ahead with this. So I went in at five at 9.30 the following morning to the shop and the owner said, too late, can't refund, can't cancel the order. Once I press go on it, that's that. After a few days, of, 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 I wrote, wrote to him. He said he was going to pay me back 440 out of the 500 quid and keep 60 quid. Was that distant selling or a citizens of Vice Bureau said to me, because I'd actually visited the shop and had a discussion, even if it was one sentence about the proposed bike, that that doesn't count. Yeah, I, as you were telling me the question, I knew exactly where this was going, Claire. I'm afraid the citizens Advice Bureau is correct. Uh, if you right. go into the shop, it's not distant selling anymore, even though you place the actual order over the phone or over the Internet. Um, it's not counted as distant selling once you've visited their premises before the contract is made, as a result of which you don't get the 14-day cooling-off period, which is, I imagine, why you're asking me, mm. as a result of which the, uh, which the contract is binding. And they are technically entitled to keep the whole deposit. So I, I actually think, you may not feel this way, Claire, but I actually think you've got a bit of a result there, getting £440 I, back. OK, thank you very right. much, I'm, Daniel. I'm sorry Thanks about that. that. Um, and, okay. and that's something that can be confusing. A lot of people just think if you order something over the phone or over the internet, it's automatically covered by the 14-day money-back guarantee or the 14-day uh, right of return. But it's not not if you've visited the premises where the company or the uh, shop trades before actually placing your order. 